Ayo. Hey, These yo, things yeah, aren't yo. real. These things aren't real. <laughs> These things aren't real. What do you mean? Are Look you just running through them? <laughs> <laughs> Andre's super cool, though. Have you ever be killed him? No. You can. No. If you kill him, does he like, never come back? You have to beat the game or something to restart it. Oh my god. And you need him, don't you? Um, yeah, pretty much. Alright. <laughs> Would you say, like, Dark Souls is kind of like a Metroidvania, like, S game? Um, I mean, no. Think about it, though. Metroidvania means, like, S. It's not like an actual, like, kind like it. Because, like, think about no. it. You're fighting. You can equip stuff. You level up. Okay. You have this whole vast world that's open to explore. Okay. There are different sections in different areas, right? Specific doors you go through to go to these next areas, which are like the white wall things or the white uh, little things. Uh, white. What are they called? What? little uh white portal doors things that you go through fog walls yeah fog walls uh you have bosses that are just insane or just really cool that can be difficult to fight like castlevania you know like they kind of feel like castlevania bosses and you're just going through this open world fighting enemies that are just coming out of nowhere it feel and then you have health that's a black knight it just it feels kind of Metroidvania-esque. Alright. And, like, I know you're definitely going to disagree with me on this. I feel like the original two, like, the first two Metal Gear Solid games kind of are Metroidvania-esque, too. Except you don't level up. Uh, like, okay, hear me out. So. I'm, I'm hearing. Metroidvania games, uh, generally, you go through the game, you get a specific item, the like, fog wall right here. Uh-oh. What? Uh oh. What? Oh no. What? Oh no. Someone is trying to invade me. We're good! We're good! They failed to connect. We good. <laughs> um, anyway. So, uh, <laughs> fucking, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, so you had to get a certain item or something to get through the next area, right? Well, Metal Gear Solid, those are key cards, right? Mm -hmm. And you get them from uh, doing specific parts in the story or getting a certain like thing. Like in uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, to progress in Snake's part of the story, you have to um, you have to get the USP, the pistol, which you get from a boss fight, which is Olga. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the boss fights are always just super crazy in general, so, I mean... But they all come out after random portions of the game, and there's a lot of backtracking in that. There's a lot of backtracking in this, right? Is, is there any backtracking in this? Um... Sort of? Yeah. Yeah. And there are save points which you can warp to in this. You can't warp to any save points in Metal Gear Solid. Like, this, it's less Metroidvania-esque, but... Like... In Metal Gear Solid, uh... Do you know what Metroidvania is? I know what means. Metroidvania is. Okay. I'm just saying kinda like it. Not, like, exactly like it. Just kinda like it. There are portions of... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> See, he knows what I'm talking about. I disagree. About. Um, but, like, you backtrack, get, I like, get more items to use throughout the game. Like, three, nothing like that. Alright? The way the maps are and how there's, like, a... You know, you just... I don't know how to explain it. But you get where I'm going with it, right? I think you're just thinking of good game design, not specifically well, Metroidvania. I kind of... Okay. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid's l least like it, but it's close to it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm not talking about, like, 2D platformers any at all, because, like... There's Metroid Prime, which is a 3D FPS Metroidvania game. There's 
It's exactly like Super Metroid. Except just third person. Or first person F, uh, shooter. Mm -hmm. You... Honestly, I'm like dead serious. Like that is a Metroidvania game from start to finish. So is 2 and 3. Ghasts! Huh? Ghasts! Ghasts? Ghasts! Ghosts! Ghasts! I'm out of here. Oh. Yeah. Um... But back to Dark Souls being like it, like... Mm-hmm. I mean, it just kind of feels like one, you know? <laughs> it does. It really does. Okay. If it was third, if it was like a third person open, more open world kind of thing. What? Anyway. It just feels like it. Babyface. God. <laughs> if you guys know Babyface uh, from a game called, what's oh, it man. called? Layers of Fear? Yeah. You look like him. You're his child. Maybe. Or you're just young baby face. He's immortal. He just, he just gets like, like, every year he doesn't get, like, he gets like one minute older. Ah. Whoa, what? I'm going down here. Just put like a secret area? No. No? Well, not to me. Of course not to you. Nothing's a secret to you. Uh, you want to know what I'm going to get? What? So I end up. Ooh. Oh yeah. None of this stuff is important. Except for one thing. That down there? Yeah. What is that? But not Wow, you're you were serious. Like Ooh. you can get this within like Yeah. Things. I can just go there. <laughs> it's kinda dumb. Is the master key an item you can get in the game? <laughs> um you can, but you have to buy it later from someone that you find in the depths. So it's basically just stupid? Like getting it well, normally? Well, it's... No. Huh? No. Or not it's stupid, just... but... Like, um... It's just kind of out <coughs> of your way and just... More difficult to get than just getting it normally from the start. Well, yeah. So this is the fire keeper of Fireland Shrine, and she's awesome. So what does she do? Uh, I can use fire keeper souls that I find to reinforce my Estus Flask, which heals me more each time I use it. Okay, so like the more you do it, it permanently every Estus Flask permanently like gives you more health. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. When you drink, you gain more. I, I beg to differ in today's society. You drink, you make dumb decisions. You just... I'm poor, so I'm gonna get a coin from this man. I want you to know. Here, take this. No, go ahead. Here you go, Thank homeless you. man <laughs> with a baby face. I'm gonna talk to Would him you... later and get Look, the shrug. Look, if you just saw emote. a ba a baby faced homeless man on the side of the road looking like him, would you give him money? No. <laughs> this is a oh man. My God, we go. Oh my God. This is a man right here. All right. Oh my God, that is this, terrifying. This is a man. That is not a man I would trust my kids with. <laughs> no, but you trust them to get the job done. <laughs> Gay doors plumbing, like. <laughs> Gay door, good old gay door. No, like the whole story about him. He's an entrepreneur. He's just doing things for money. Like I'll do anything uh, as long as you oh pay me. Oh my god! Why is the channeler chasing me right now? Oh my god! But uh, <gasps> oh. his whole story is he'll do anything as long as you give him something in return. So like his this entire quest is just him doing his job. For like a few bucks. Oh my god. Oh. Could you imagine that? Being... I mean, uh. it sounds about right. Mm. Just a few days ago, I was a wagon puller. I was pulling wagons for some some peasants and such. But um, now I'm going on a mystical quest. I'm just like a bull. I mean, look at you. <laughs> I'm a big man. I mean... Does he get? Can he get hey. any bigger? Um. <gasps> oh. Oh. What are you? 
you going? <laughs> he got scared. He saw your face. He, got, he saw your face up close, and he did not want any of it. Oh, I didn't get the Chandler staff. But this dude is fun to play around with. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, how close are you to the gargoyles? Uh, they are right above me. Alright. Well, we'll do one more episode, so I'll... Uh, eat a pancake. What? What? Eat a pancake. Eat a pancake. Eat a, eat a, eat a, eat a pancake.